Hello boys and girls, welcome to another edition of MR2 Spider for Dummies. This means you. Um, just kidding, of course. So we're looking at the timing chain tensioner. Okay, remove this from the car because this O-ring here was uh, kind of cooked and allowing oil to leak out onto the side of the engine and drip down. Okay, so I took it out and replaced this O-ring with a generic O-ring from an O-ring set. Now uh, I'm going to go through the procedure of resetting the O-ring, uh, the tensioner. Okay, so the tensioner has a little hook right here and is sort of stuck right now. Okay, I've liberated the hook. Okay. And what I gotta do is to press press this piston down while simultaneously releasing this latch here so that I can reset the hook. And let's see if I can do it. It's just kind of a little bit fidgety. I guess it's not too bad, huh? Did I get it? Yeah. All right. So I reset the tensioner on the hook and now I can put it back in the car I'll show you where it goes and then I'll show you how we release this hook so that the tensioner can apply tension to the timing chain okay and this is being done for this beautiful car here little Toyota MR2 Spider and uh, let me go and get this all set up so we can put this chain tensioner back in. Where the tensioner goes is on a cavity in the back of the engine. Okay, so although it might not seem like it uh, with the tensioner, there's only one way to put it on correctly. So there's no chance of screwing that up if you try to put it in the wrong way. It just simply will not go at all. So let's see if I can even get him here. Okay, so he went in straight. You can see him. And all I gotta do is put the two 10 millimeter nuts on the back of those studs. And then after I do that, I'll show you how to release the latch on the tensioner by jogging the crankshaft backward. So we are peering down at the crankshaft pulley. And what I've done is I've put a 19 millimeter socket on it with the wrench. And uh, let's see, I can show you what I wanna do is, I wanna grab this wrench. Okay, I'm just gonna turn it back gently like jog it back until I hear a click and this means that the tensioner latch has released so that's done I just heard the click the tensioner is back in and we're all good with our chain tensioner replacements